Can Woody Allen follow up Blue Jasmine with an equally powerful film? Find out a cinematic class is about to commence, and the professor is in. Woody Allen doesn't really make movies. I've said this before. He offers instead little slices of life. And while the films are complete, uh, the stories generally are not. With his latest, Magic in the Moonlight, Allen pays homage to all those wonderful light romantic comedies from Hollywood's golden era. still the best in the world. I need your help. The plot thickens. The Catledge family are socialized in the south of France. There's a woman who has them believing she's a spirit medium. You are the greatest debunker of fake spiritualists. She won't fool me. One thing Alan does well is selecting his actors. Colin Firth is quite enjoyable in this film. In fact, without him, I think the movie would have been a dud. Sophie looked into my eyes and told me things about me she could never have known. I'm told she's very pleasant to look at. She's a visionary and a vision. I'm getting a mental impression. Are you from the Orient? The Far East? Considering you are Wailing Sue, that's pretty damn impressive. <laughs> Magic in the moonlight often becomes lost in its own pretentiousness. When one is labeled a genius or a star, I guess it's very easy to think that the world centers around you and there is no higher power responsible for your fate. Therefore, it's not too surprising that Alan's script throws in digs toward the existence of God and religion in general. I guess that's not too surprising for someone who marries their own daughter. My mental impressions are cloudy. Are they cumulus clouds or cirrus? You're making fun of me. Mr. Tavern, it's rather obnoxious, but it's not entirely unappealing. Magic in the Moonlight is strictly for Allen fans. It's set in 1928, and certainly that's a more reflective of a time in which this movie would have been better received. The grade for Magic in the Moonlight is a C. And now that you have learned what you have learned, here endeth your lesson. You're gonna die! Run! My aunt used to bring me here as a boy. The roof opens up. I can see the universe. It's menacing. You find that menacing? I say it was pretty romantic.